Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm starting a new video series to walk through some code I have and I'm hoping to uh, be able to explain this code in case if anybody out there thinks this would be a good challenge for them to do then uh, they have this video series to start from. Okay. For this first video, I'm going to talk about um, kind of more what the program is and go over some files that are that are in here. Uh, so, yeah, I don't need that. Um, there was, back a long time ago, there was this magazine that, that, uh, I know my parents had, I know some other people have said they had it, that, um, it was for, like, what can you do with this, this computer, back, um, so this would have been the early to mid 80s, and in this magazine there was, uh, there, each issue would have two small, like, programming problems, so it would have a bunch of code, and you're supposed to type out the code, uh, find the errors, fix them, and you learn to program through that. And one of these, one of these programming problems was a drag race game. And my dad was into cars, and so after he fixed the problems, he started, um, like, act after he fixed the actual bugs, errors that they were generating, the way I was told that he started fixing, like, uh, more logic errors, like that car didn't have that engine or something like that. And then he started expanding it so it had um, a lot more vehicles and it, it was just a bigger program. Because he was really interested in it. So this is the original code um, that he wrote, the finished version and I've tried putting it, I've tried putting it in some other languages, so I'm gonna go through a bit of that as well, a bit of it, we'll see how much. And, uh, at some point, uh, probably later in the series, probably at the end of the series, I can run it on an emulator, probably, and show how it's actually supposed to work. So this video is just to accompany, or this series is to accompany the code that's on GitHub now. Okay, so I'm going to start by going over some of the code, but to make this easier, I'm going to start because locally I can sort it by the file types. So, all right. I'm going to skip over the folders for now. The exes, the drag menu, I don't know what that is, I don't remember. Uh, I'll have to try it when I find a way to run it. These, the ones that start drag hyphen are the actual game. So if you were going to play you would open the P1, drag P1, and go through the first sixth of this game, and then you would move on to P2, and so on through six. Now, I don't know on this P6, I don't know what that three means, I don't know if that's the third version of the sixth part, or maybe there's other things in between that I'm not understanding. Maybe we'll figure that out, I don't know. And then on the P1, so the P1 is the normal if you were just going to start this. The P1T, because I always think that says pit, it says P1T. Uh, the T is tutorial, and so that should give a player who hasn't played this before some extra tips on like what does this mean what am I supposed to do here things like that 
how to play. I mean, we have tutorials now. It's just the same thing. And then the A on P1A, I don't know what the A means. So maybe we'll find that out. For the rest of these executables, I don't know what the S means. So I don't know what the drag S. Is it another version of 6? Is it completely different? Like, is it some... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I assume it's another place to start one of the sections, but I I don't know what section it would be. Um, early one. No idea. Maybe it's an earlier version? And then we have these last two, which I'm thinking might actually be really interesting because there are some variables in here that I don't know what they mean. And I'm wondering if this engine build and engine edit would uh, be able to find out what some of these variables are. So I'm hoping to find those out once we have a way to run this as well. Okay, hang on. I just need to fix this. Okay. So the next type of file is dot .bas are the basic files. So this was written in GW basic. And so these are the actual code. So you have uh, drag P1T. Oh, look, there's P1X. So there's another another version of the P1. There's P1A. Oh, uh, P1EKK. That would be my attempt. So that's not an official one. That's not something that would probably be useful at all. Uh, we have 2 and 2B, two which is interesting. There's only a 6-3. There's not any other 6s, but then there's, there's some other early files. Okay. Um, drag race.basic. I don't know but with the way it's written, I'm wondering if that's another version that I made. Because if it is, it's not. It's less useful. Um, and then, so these six three test, um, and then we have six three. So that might be an older version of P six. Old edit. Oh, so we don't have the code for the engine edit and engine build, but maybe that's a bit of the older code. And then we have uh, junk zero build, which could actually be helpful for figuring some of this out. Okay, and then it looks like the next type of file is backups. I must assuming that that's what they actually are is just a backup file that may be something related to GW basic it may be something that my dad did just in case um, but then I don't know like what's this junk zero build and then these are junk zero car junk zero cat and junk zero cow so R, T, and U obviously means something. Oh, dude, I didn't mean to click on that. There's nothing that will open that. All right, um, yeah, my mouse keeps moving. I don't have it on a good stable place. Um, okay, so those are backup files. Next, we get to the DG1. These, I believe, are um, as close to a database as we had 
like that's what he was using as a database for all every car that's in the game every engine that's in the game so you go through Bolton Z no idea car file I assume it's a list of cars I don't know there's car file M there's Chevy 64 so Dodge 64 Ford 64 so those I assume would be just um, 1964 versions of all the, you know, 1964 Fords, 1964 Dodges, 1964 Chevys. That's my guess. Uh, drag, coal, no idea, game end. So those are, that's a, oh, you know what, I'm wondering if some of these, like, here's records.dg1. If some of those are from, uh, like, that's a save game sort of thing, or the, the information that needs to save as you go through the game, maybe that's what those are. Hot Rod 65, so those are, you know, and then you have these, so those are, those would be, I assume, cars that are 1965, but you have the Junk Zero and Junk 1. And then junk without a number. So um, when you when you start your because you're starting with an older car, a used car. I don't know. I always just have junk. Maybe those other cars that come from the junkyard. I don't remember. Because. Yeah, I don't even remember how it starts. If there's a junkyard in it, then I assume those are somehow related. Uh, so we're still on DG1. Names, S1. No idea. P1. So these are end. Oh, so, okay. My guess on these would be when you play the P1 file even if it's P1T, P1X, P1A. This is the information that saves after that part. That's what P stands for part. P stands for part. And then uh, why does 5 not have data to save? I don't know. Does it save somewhere else? Maybe it saves in some of these other files. And six P6 reads from these files. Okay. We're still on. Okay, a uh, tint vowel. I don't remember. There's something near the beginning. Maybe it's like the text shows in a certain color because it's a DOS game. It, it it's an entirely text game. I don't know. I don't think it's that important. You have used cars and I assume this is just you know there's your used car lot and there's your cars from each of the different years and then you'd have like the 55 Fords 55 GMs and all the different uh, makes oh wow so this goes up through 1970 and that's one thing is I wanted to put cars all you know the next few decades if I make this uh, and then winners I assume that those are also just save information from I guess from each of the different races so it's a drag race game you have two players and you pick your cars and then you say start and then the race happens so you're not doing anything, it's all just coded in and they, the cars finish how they finish. And, uh, and then those would be the winners of each of the races, I guess. It's not only four races, so I don't know why there are only four on that also. Okay, so we have DGS files. Again, I don't know... I don't know what, um, 
the difference between DG1 and DGS. And I don't know what these different files are. Because what is options? Or install. And what is a preview file? What data needs to be in a preview file? Okay, um... So, files without a, an extension, these are all engines. I would think that those would be DG1 files, your engines, so I don't know why they're not. I mean, he, yeah, I'm pretty sure had some logical reason, but I don't think that, I wouldn't think that there's a reason that they have to be uh, without an extension, and then you have your batch file. Isn't a batch file just something that can run? Here, let me see. Oh, it's a Okay. So batch files is basically a script. Alright. And I have no idea what that is. But hopefully we'll see. Okay, um. While I'm in here. I'm gonna show this. So, this is CSVs. I made, um apparently CSV files of all of the DG1 files so hopefully they'll be easier to work with at least for certain hopefully they'll be easier to work with uh, images I'll just show I'm not gonna open them this is an old icon I don't even know I'm going to assume that my dad made that. Maybe, I don't know. I can't really tell. It's, I think it's cool. Somebody actually wanted to make this. You have an icon already. And then, um, because I think for the visual basic version of this, when I was trying to make it, I um, tried to get an image of each of these two cars. Those were the two cars that I was starting with to, as I was um, going through it during um, to try it out. That did not work. Info. Okay, how to run this? Actually, I want to put this in the the README file of the Git. Okay. You know what? That doesn't mean anything. Because I already explained that in the video. Um, other data. So these are... Some of the files. Okay, this is part of the code. Let's explain this. This is one of the one of the early things that happens is the tint file thing. All right. Um. So I have a couple of spreadsheets of information. I'm I pretty sure I don't have Excel installed of any version, let alone 97, so I don't want to open those right now. And then there's the three database files, uh, Microsoft Database, uh, Microsoft Access, which I also don't have installed. Um, so, <laughs> okay, those are
those two are nothing. That one's blank, and then that one... The characters are not right because it's not a text file. I never converted it. Let me see... What we can see in here. Oh wow, okay, so GitHub is definitely able to read these. Um... I'm gonna just to go through this quick. You have your car number. So from this file, this is car one. That'd be your primary key for a database. Your different um, variables. You have three descriptions. So there's one. Uh, there's two, and there's three, and then there's more information after that. Uh, some of them do have long spaces. That was for the DOS version of this. And that's how every one of these files, car files, about those, but the, um, like all these, probably, and all the used car ones, those are all gonna look exactly the same. They're gonna have different cars, but the rows or the columns I mean are the same um and then I'm curious here the batch file it copies three things why I don't know, um, batch file stuff, but what is, what is this? It's copying all the DG1, DGS, and DG EXE files to, that was a folder, so that was probably only to get the code to save easily, like, it's not something that gonna need it all. Okay, um, I'm gonna show some of the, what, what I did. Uh, Visual Basic. Oh wow, okay. I don't think any of this is gonna be helpful. From what I remember, the Android version just... Yeah, I don't know. What I'd like to do is compare some of this code to some of the original code. Some of the, the VB and some of the Android to the original. Like, look at those alongside each other. Um, and... Yeah, I'm not gonna look at most of those. Um, I'm gonna show the Android stuff. Here, I think I know how to do this. Oh, that worked. Okay, uh, EWN, engine work needed. It comes up in the beginning. I can point it out when we get to there. So. I gotta see something anyway. Okay. Right, these are all comments. So. It tells as much information as I could get. Just to be clear, this is in the car class. So that L is the ratio 
The P is horsepower or CID. Some of this I got from my dad and some of it I've had to figure out. So, I don't know. Um, you read from the, the car file. So this is when you look at the, when I open the, the car file and you have the, the number and all the variables, here's the three descriptions. This is each variable the way the original drag race program calls it. And this is this is the order. So this is uh, for me very important. You have your L4, L3, L2, L1, L5, which is gear ratios. And then there's P1 and P3. And PR. And so I don't know what this means. The P is the horsepower or the CID, but I don't see a P by itself. I'm pretty sure D is weight. Oh, look. We have the engine information. Manufacturer, there's P, P1 through P7. <sighs> no idea. And then these, I'm guessing, are lines from the original code. Or not. I don't know. Oh, dude, I did. Look. Okay, NOX is the part number. PR is the price. N is the number of gears. VLCX has to do with repairs needed. It's a number, so is that a number of repairs needed? There's a year. P1 is the horsepower. P3 is the CID. Cubic inch displacement. I've been wondering about that. Uh, o is the weight, D we don't know, and W we don't know. And then we have, um, first, second, third, fourth, and rear end ratio. Does that mean every car in here is manual with four gears? You have your three descriptions, manufacture transmission type, so, they, I mean, obviously you can have, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to go through the whole thing right now, um, I was worried that I'd gotten rid of all those comments, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop this here, I think, I think that, that one, okay.